completely false concept of human nature to imagine that a husband can be all in all, all to his wife or a wife to her husband. It just isn't possible. What do you think is the purpose of marriage? Well, you've got to increase the population, that's all there is to it. Love and children. Not to share happiness and companionship. Togetherness, really, than anything else. Security, more than anything else. I mean, this is the sort of stock answer, but I'm sure it's true. And I think by the time you're about 24, you want to settle down with one person. Because I don't particularly want to be a mother, have children. For me, I think it's basically for a sense, you know, companionship and security. And I think it'd be rather interesting um, to marry a homosexual for this, because you could establish a good relationship. Um, a sort of deep re respectful relationship and yet you could have your own life apart. If you are very healthy, highly developed people, you naturally have other attractions sometimes. Don't think you go through life without thinking somebody else is really rather wonderful. I think the whole of marriage really in a way depends on friendship and being able to discuss things with each other. Not having any inhibitions about, I mustn't talk about this to him because that'll make a, it'll make a friction. I think friction's fun. And I think one wants to have arguments, and we've argued, haven't we, Lewis? We've argued um, the toss about every mortal thing, I should think, as hard as we could go. Will you get married? Yes. Yes. What's the point of getting married, do you think? Well, I'll buy her things. You'll buy her things? Yes. What sort of things? Um, like perfume and stuff. What about this? Think this'll be a nice idea? Yes. And what will you do, Susan, for Stephen? To keep, keep, make his dinners and um, keep the house whilst he's away. I think the most important thing in marriage is love. I do think that we were extraordinarily lucky that we two who fell in love with each other were both brought up in very happy families. Yeah. We were, uh, I was one of a family of seven and Sybil was one of a family of four. And I think that, and uh, that has an enormous effect in learning how to deal with the small community. The whole point of a happy marriage is being able to live in community of two. My marriage was not a, what, what anyone would call an easy marriage because uh, my wife was an invalid for 17 years. But though she was an invalid, she was a wonderful woman. She was pretty, she was intelligent, she uh, could sing, she could play the piano, she could do a lot of things uh, which was essential in those days, more nowadays because of the different kinds of music. And to be honest and candidly, though the life was very, very hard, and I found it hard anyway to do shopping and housework and look after a sick a woman and a baby, I wouldn't have changed it for anything because it was a lovely life really and I had a lovely woman. What do you think about sleeping with somebody before you actually get married? No, I'm not really. I'm not personally interested. What do you think? Well, it's like you said, if you're interested, it's all right. But if you're not, there's not much to it. I'm most certainly in favour of premarital sex. I think it's absolutely absurd that um, two people are going to be living together for the rest of their lives and sleeping together every night and, and shouldn't have had any sexual experience beforehand. I mean, with each other or with other people. Yes, well, I think you should get married before you're 20, at least. Yes, definitely, yes. Well, when your children grow up, you're around about 40, are they, aren't you? I mean, that's more an age, you know what I mean? A lot of people say that 56 years is a long time to stay with one particular person. But you know, it isn't because you both change all the time. You're, you're different people, only you somehow grow together. When um, two people are going to get married, what do they need from each other, do you think? Help. What about a family? First you have to get a house. And well, have you... Th I'll, we'll get a baby, yes. You will have one? Yes. Might have, 
six. Yes. I hope we won't have six. That'll be a lot. You hope we won't have six? <laughs> well, All at once. How many would you like to have? Two. Well, now, who's going to uh, decide about this? Who's going to have the last word when you get married between you two? Um, I think I will. Yes. You will? Yes. And you agree?